good morning to all today i'm uh, going to see about the topic called flow chart generally flow chart is a representation of an algorithm it is a graphical representation of an algorithm we all know what is algorithm an algorithm is a step by step instructions which will be which should be executed in a specific order to get the desired outcome so here uh, when we need to have a visual representation of what the algorithm performs or how the program will be we can go for the flow chart it is for easy understanding of a program by users so now this is the def uh, definition of the flow chart it is a diagrammatic representation of the program usually it involves various symbols uh, and each symbol will have a specific usage the four main symbols which is used in uh, which is used commonly in flow charts are uh, start there is a terminator symbol the first one is a terminator as well as start symbol so it can be used for both the purpose each and every flow chart will have its starting symbol as start as well as it will winds up with the terminator both start and uh, terminator will have the same uh, same shape that is oval shape the next is parallelogram the parallelogram shape is to indicate the input and output uh, here we can specify the inputs as well as the outputs data to get printed inside the parallelogram the next rectangle represents the process symbol that is uh, if any kind of computation is need to be carried out all the computation statements can be given inside the rectangle that is process symbol the next rhombus is the decision making symbol so uh, whenever we, uh, we decide to have a two or more control flows uh, based on the condition when we need to have two path of flow we can go for decision making structure here it is used to check a condition um so based on the condition it will move in that direction usually the decision making symbol will have two flows one is for true condition the next one is for false condition the next is the connector symbol it is represented by small circle mm, when we have flow chart which which exceeds more than one page it can be connected with the help of connectors so it is a proper uh, representation of uh, specifying the continuity of the flow chart the next is flow lines flow line is indicated by uh, a line with the headed arrow mark uh, that is um, pointed arrow mark so here it is unidirectional because the flow lines have to specify from where to where the control flow flows in the flow chart so these are the basic symbols which is commonly used in the flow chart in addition to that we are having some uh, repetition symbol looping symbol as well as um the next we can see the flow chart for a sequential uh, control flow structure that is all the uh, instructions in the algorithm will get executed without skipping off any instructions it is called sequence control flow structure here i have taken the example of uh, finding the area of rectangle by using length and breadth in this flow chart i have used the start symbol then input and output symbol is specified by parallelogram here i am going to read two inputs length and breadth the next area is calculated by finding the product of length and length into breadth then at last printing the area is my output then it gets terminated with the end symbol so it is a simple flow chart used to find the area of rectangle the next is the flow chart for finding greatest of three numbers here this flow chart involves the decision making symbol because to find the greatest of three numbers we need to compare each number with the uh, remaining two numbers so i have started the flow chart then i have uh, initialized that is i have read out the values of a b c the next i'm going to check my first condition a greater than b if a is greater than b it has two flows yes and no if it is yes means it will move for checking with the another uh, variable called c if a greater than c and if uh, to that condition gets true means it should have we should have a is uh, the greatest of all the three numbers or else if it follows if a greater than b follows the negative path that is no then it, it is going to check the condition called b greater than c if uh, that condition also gets true it will print b as a greatest number 
even if both the conditions got failed then it will automatically make it clear that c is the greatest of all the three so here it involves decision, three decision making symbols and each decision making symbol will have one input as well as two outputs two outlets will be there one for s yes condition the next one is for no condition so here are the guidelines for drawing the flow chart so usually uh, we should have flow lines in unidirectional way we should not have bidirectional arrow headed arrow marks so always we should draw the flow chart from top to bottom or else from left to right so this is the standard direction for representing the flow chart then when we are having process symbol it should have one inlet and one outlet since the computation uh, output must be only one output so we should not have two outlets for a process symbol then we when we are having a decision making symbol it will have two outlets from one input because it will have two choices of alternatives called yes and no condition the next uh, guideline is only one flow line should be used in the terminal symbol that is when we are starting up the flow chart one start symbol will have only one arrow mark which is coming out of start symbol when we are going to end the flow chart our terminator symbol will have one inlet and it will not have any outlet likewise the start symbol will not have any inlet so the terminator symbol should have only one uh, arrow mark that is uh, only one flow line then each and every flow sh flow sh flow chart should have a proper start up and finish that we should check and it is used to test the validity of flow chart when we are processing with the simple data it should uh, give the proper desired outcome in that way we should represent the flow chart the next what are the advantages of flow chart the first one is communication when we are uh, lagging in a programming knowledge also we should have a uh, understandability of what that program have done it can be done with the help of both algorithm as well as flow chart but when we are moving for flow chart it gives you better visual representation the next effective analysis is we can easily track the errors in the flow chart because uh, where the flow line is getting fall from which uh, direction to which direction we can easily trace out and we can trace back the errors and we can also analyze the time and space complexity based on the set of instruction how much instructions it is going to execute uh, then for um, better understanding of coding we can uh, we can refer the flow chart then when we are moving for testing and debugging process when we got an error in one part of a program we can easily trace back the errors with the help of flow chart then when we are maintaining the flow chart and when we need to maintain the software that is when any user requirements gets changed at the time of implementation or else when we face any faults in the test cases solved we can easily rectify the errors with the help of uh, flow lines in the flow chart and then we can change the module according to that so that we can get an effective uh, software that is effective outcome of it so thank you